Hey y'all, how you guys doing? Today I am going to be doing something different again on my 30 video run. So today I'm going to be talking about change. You need to change. Yeah, you. Yes, you and me. We need to change. Um, the reason why I actually thought about this, the reason why I actually thought about this is because a lot of us talk about change on a regular. A lot of us talk about things we want to do on a regular. A lot of things we want to have on a regular. A lot of things we want to accomplish. All this stuff we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, but it requires change. And a lot of us cannot get to the things that we want and we desire because we are not willing to change. And we are not willing to make the sacrifices that needs to be made to do the things that we want to do. And it all starts with change first and then sacrifice. Or should I say it starts with sacrifice first and then change? But no, I'm going to say it the way I think to say it first. It starts, I don't know, I, I don't even know what's going on with the journey. Anyway, it starts first with change. And then once you change your thinking, then you can think about the sacrifices that you will have to, to make to accomplish the thing that you're trying to accomplish. So I'm gonna throw some, I'm gonna throw some things out of the out there at y'all. Three things that stopping you from making the changes you need to make. You don't like them either. Because I don't like them myself. So oh. The first thing that's stopping you from making the changes that you need to make is you are worried about, I, I got notes to y'all. You are worried about what people is going to say. I'm going to give you an example. When you start to change, if you have not yet already, when you start to change, the first thing people are going to say, you changed. <laughs> Hey, like you changed you changed so quite naturally some of us we downplay our change around certain people because we don't want to hear the you acting this type of way you acting this type of way why you acting like that you being like this you acting funny we be so worried about what they're gonna say about the change in us that we downplay ourselves. I'm not getting so mad saying this because I didn't did this. We downplay our success. We downplay our growth. We downplay our accomplishments and everything because we be worried about what they gonna say. How foolish is, how foolish of us. We have to stop being worried about what these people are gonna say. You supposed to change. If you know you've been sad, depressed, and toxic for years, and now you're not like that no more. And somebody's saying to you, you changing. You need to be questioning them about why they even saying that. Like, me changing is a good thing. Why are you even challenging the change in me? Makes no sense. Those type of people you need to keep away from you. Any unhealthy thing that you is used to doing or people know you for doing or a way they used to you behaving and you not behaving that way no more and you making healthy decisions and you doing things better and they start telling you you changed you need to re really reevaluate these people that you talk that that we talking about the second thing we be worried about is losing people L this this one here is really important a lot of times when we change we outgrow the people around us and when you outgrow the people around you, you lose people because y'all don't be on the same page no more. Um, and it's not, sometimes it's not anything got to do with love no more. It ain't got nothing to do with like. It just got something to do with what it is. Conversation's not the same no more when you change. Energy not the same when you change. So you're going to lose people when you change. But a lot of times we don't want to change because you know when you change, these people ain't going to want to hear that no more. Well, they actually not going to want to hear that at all. They don't, they not into what you're into. They not into healthy uh, living. 
They're not into that type of stuff. So you can't even have those type of conversations with them. You see what I'm saying? So you already know you're going to lose them. I'm going to give y'all one example, and this really has nothing to do with nothing, but I'm going to give y'all examples. This was good to me. When you are in an unhealthy relationship, right, and your girl or your guy been cheating on you forever, when you think of, when, when, when you in that situation and you think about setting boundaries for yourself in this relationship, the reason why you don't set boundaries is because of fear of losing them. Because you know if you change something, they're not going to go for it because they're not used to that. See what I'm saying? You, you possibly lose your relationship by trying to set boundaries in your life. If you say, oh, you're not going to do this no more. I don't know, cheat, I don't know, well, you got to go, you got to go, we got to break up. They might not never get it together and you feel that. Or if you say, okay, you can't do this or this is not happening, whatever it is that you may have to do to set boundaries in that relationship, you know that setting those boundaries may possibly cause you to lose that person. So instead of setting the boundary, you do nothing and you settle because you don't want to lose them. That's what I'm talking about. You got to change, baby. You have to change and stop being worried about losing people. And the last thing is, I got to look at my notes though. The last thing, you worried about becoming better. You know why you worried about becoming better? Because becoming better requires more of you. Becoming better is a responsibility. Yeah, people don't understand that. It's a responsibility to come better. You have to maintain that better. You have to water it. You have to pick at it every day. You got to look at it every day. You got to maintain it. You got to just look at it. I'm telling you, you got to look at the better like, okay, I think I need to rearrange some of that. Okay. I think I need to plant a little seed over there. I think I need to do a little bit over this. I need a little, little bit of that. And before you know it, better has arrived. A lot of people, a lot of people don't want to become better because it's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of stuff you need to do to become a better person. So you are worried about becoming a better person because you don't really want to. I'm just going to be honest with you. You don't really want to do that. You don't want to make the necessary changes to become better. So you just don't. You just don't at all. You just don't, don't want to do it. You just don't. You don't want to get to the bottom of it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when you look at people that's mentally healthy and you look at their lifestyle and look at the way that they live their life, a lot of that stuff you don't be wanting to do. Mm-mm. Going to, some people go to counseling. It's healthy for some people. Some people go to counseling once a month. That's just for their mental health. Some people have mentors where they share everything with. They have a mentor in every area of their life, people that they can trust. You don't want to do that. You don't trust people. A lot of people read a lot of different books. Once a month, people read a different book. You don't want to read nothing. A lot of people do a lot of self-development. They watch different YouTube videos. They journal. They do affirmations. You don't got time to do that. You don't have time to do none of that. They wake up early in the morning to do their self-development. They take care of, of their they, um, they mental health, not only their physical self. They take care of their um, they mental self, too. And a lot of us don't want to take care of our, our mental self because it, it requires too much. You see what I'm saying? So we don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So now I'm going to give y'all a couple of more things, and I'm out of here. Got this video out the way. A lot of things you need to change is you need to change your thinking. You have to change your thinking thinking so that you can change your life a lot of your thinking is unhealthy if see this is what you got to do the change that you want you have an image of the better you that you want to be right and you have to look at that you in your head you got to imagine that person how would she think how would he think how would he eat you can't even be eating all this unhealthy food because you're gonna be tired all the time it's going to weigh on your blood pressure. You might get diabetes. You see what I'm saying? 
So you have to watch what you eat because it's not good for your life. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm getting inspired myself too. Not only that, you have to watch your circle that you're in. You got to watch the closest people to you if you want to change. Who are the people that's, what they doing? Like what they doing with their life? How they talking? How they moving? You got to look at the people around you to see if this adding up to the person that you want to become. You got to pay attention to these people around you. I mean, kids too. Your kids, your man, your friend, the dogs, everybody. You got to pay attention to everybody around you that you allow in your in your circle and your energy is important. Now look around. You might have to make some changes to your circle. You got to pay attention to what you watch on TV. I only I barely even watch TV TV. Like seriously. I really don't. I really don't. I'm trying to get off into these different series. I was watching um Windwork the other day. I watched that. I really I try my best not to watch stuff that's going to have me sad, depressed, down, um, scared, because I'm scary. I can't watch scary movies. I go to sleep and have bad dreams. You just have to watch what you're watching. You got to pay attention to it because some of this stuff will um, it'll affect your energy. It will affect your vibration. It will have you bothered for a couple of days depending on what you're watching. You got to see, what, pay attention to what you allow in your spirit. Same thing with listening. What what type of music you listening to? People you listening to. A lot of that stuff is poison to your spirit. And you be wondering why you got attitudes. Wondering why your head hurting. You done, you done heard something you shouldn't have heard. Or you done saw something that didn't add up to your vibration. So you can't be watching that stuff. And listening to that stuff is not good for you. And this is, this, this is kind of a little different. But you have to pay attention to your image. You see what I'm saying? You have to take care of yourself better. You have to change that. For instance, if you want to be a hairstylist, right? You got to look the part. You're supposed to have your hair done all the time. You do hair. Everywhere you go, use a walking, use a walking billboard for your own business. Everywhere you go, you should look presentable and have your hair done, have yourself looking up to part. Like, girl, who did your hair? That's cute. Oh, I did this. You see what I'm saying? Like, what, what you doing? You have to dress like you there. For me, I'm an author. I'm a publisher now. I'm a, a peer educator. I'm an advocate. I have to look par. I can't be out, out here looking a hot mess. That's not the type of energy that you want to bring to yourself. Before you even walk out the door, I'm talking about in the crib too. I only got my scarf on because I'm finna go to sleep. For some reason, I always do my videos when I'm waking up or I'm going to sleep. But, hey, that's what it is. I got my scarf on. Comfortable. Anyhow, you have to dress up to part. You got to get you some sleep. You got to get you some sleep. If you really want to change, if you really want to do things differently, you have to get sleep. Rest is important for your body, for your health. You need to get rest. It's important. Like these little small things I'm telling you are just small changes. I could have went deeper into the changes that you need to make. But these things start first because you 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 thinking about something all the time. Period. So you, that's affecting you. What you're watching, what you're listening to, what you're eating. All those things have a lot to do with who you are as a person. And then you, we can dig deeper on, an, on another day about other changes you need to make. You know what I mean? Find your time. All this, it's, it's, so, it's so many elements to becoming the better version of you or the higher elevated self that you want to be. It's levels to this. This is just, this is just the first step. If you really want to be better, you're going to make these changes, period. And if you don't, you ain't. You're not going to become better. You have to make changes. You have to be willing to do what needs to be done to better your life. Period. Okay, y'all. This is enough for this video. I'm done. I'm done for. I'm about to upload this video. Today is Wednesday. I don't even know if it's going to upload today or not. But I'm going to try it and see. Hopefully, it's uploaded in the morning. I'm going to come back with another video, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Y'all rest of y'all evening. And do not forget to love on yourself the rest of this evening. 
Love on yourself. You are the most important person in your life. And the better you become for you, the better you will become for everybody around you, your family, your friends, your coworkers, anybody that comes in contact with you. The better you are for you, the better you'll be for the world. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night.